watching New World Ordinance, and today we're taking a look at the Colt National Match Talo Edition Royal 1911 45 ACP pistol. This is a special one of 250 limited edition 1911 that has a polished slide with precise retro roll marks, fancy walnut grips with gold rampant Colt medallion and blue hex screws, a spur hammer, flat mainspring housing, front strap serrations, and a polished slide stop. These pistols come with special serial number range of RBG001 to RBG250. A little bit about the history of the National Match pistol. By 1919, there were National Matches first at Caldwell, New Jersey, and later at Camp Perry. Henry Fitz Fitzgerald, as Colt's representative, did a thriving business at Camp Perry, replacing barrels and tuning triggers starting in 1920 for the various competition shooters. While we might think of these as just match guns, and they were, they were also fighting guns. The U.S. Border Patrol and all the U.S. services and many police departments fielded teams to shoot these matches. Most of the law enforcement people used the same guns they used on the street. Enlisted men and junior officers alike carried and used the guns they shot. Interestingly enough, then Lieutenant George Patton disdained the 1911 because of an accidental discharge incident in 1916 while reholstering his pistol. In 1932, at the National Matches, Colt introduced its first National Match model. More smoothly fitted than the commercial model, it was soon made available with the Stevens adjustable rear sight, as is also found on the early model ACE-22 conversion units. These pistols' production was curtailed upon our entry into World War II and were not continued until after the war's end. These pistols are extremely popular already with Colt collectors and Colt guys mainly because of these roll markings. Obviously it helps that it's a special edition one of 250. Off. It also helps that it's a national match. However, these roll markings are special. Colt just doesn't do it like this anymore. And we all wish they did. Our only complaint really is that they did not do roll markings with the serial number, which is understandable. But the serial number does kind of stand out when compared to the rest of the markings on the gun. These Colts are nothing short of beautiful in both fit and finish. If you've got questions about them or maybe you have one for sale, you can contact us online. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.